On Saturday the 2nd and Sunday the 3rd of December 2017, Lunch and I Myla UK organised one of their most significant events of the year. Over this weekend, Lunch and I UK held their national refresher course in the Bedford Mosque in London, where about 1,340 members from all over the country attended. The event included a total of four sessions that were split over the course of two days. All office bearers and duty holders from each majlis in the UK were invited to attend this occasion. So the refresher course is an opportunity for all office bearers from across the UK to come together and they have individual departmental programmes, so the national corresponding national secretary mm -hmm. will have workshops with them over the two days. So obviously we split them over the two days. Currently 132 majalis across the Mashallah. UK, uh, divided in 15 regions. Uh, and mashallah, you know, there are probably new majalis going to be formed again this year. So the work continues and so training is important. And it's also an opportunity for everyone to be reinvigorated again by coming to, together. Mashallah, it was very spiritually uplifting. We spent quite a long time in terms of preparing for this event, thinking through what's the focus that we want our ladies to go away with in terms of how they then inculcate moral values during their tabiati mm -hmm. programs. So we've, we've particularly focused on Friday sermons and also uh, regularity in Salat and Purda. Some of the key aspects of the event included an address by National Southern Lajna UK, which enlightened all Lajna members on their roles as office bearers. The overall event concluded with Lajna sitting together to listen to the previous refresher course address by Hazrat Khalifa Dul Masih V. May Allah strengthen his hand. This address highlighted the characteristics which were important to practice as office bearers alongside understanding roles and responsibilities. That the very first test of person's faith is taqwa. Of course, it is expected that office bearers will be those who are strong in faith. And so if they fail in this most basic test, then what is left of their faith? The reality is that taqwa automatically leads to a person's faith in increasing and enables them to excel in goodness and virtue and to shun sinful activities. Of course, it is the duty of every Ahmadi to be ready for all possible sacrifices in the name of their faith and for the sake of Khilafat. However, this burden falls even heavier upon office bearers. Therefore, it is incumbent upon all of you to serve the Jamaat to the best of your abilities, to seek religious knowledge and to be ready for whatever sacrifices are required along the way. Furthermore, Every office bearer should manifest the highest standards of love for Allah, the, or the Almighty, the Holy Prophet وسلم, and promised Messiah Islam. And they should always seek to increase their bond of love with Khilafat and be truly obedient to this blessed institution. Lajna office bearers must always strive to have the highest standards of patience, courage, and tolerance. Moreover, in terms of your religion, you must not feel any type of embarrassment or hold any inferiority complex regarding any issue or Islamic teaching. Rather, you should be proud of your religion and openly practice and preach its teachings through your words and deeds.